So in case you haven't realized yet, the year is 2042. I just finished simulating to this point, so I haven't seen any of this myself. So basically, we're going to be choosing a team, but I'm going to leave that up to you guys. And for the sake of it, you might as well slide down a reason why you want us to use that team. Alright man, I haven't seen any of the teams, nothing like that, so let's go check it out. So check out the Cardinals team. They have Elliot John as quarterback, 91 overall. I mean, their team looks alright. Good linebackers. Their offensive line is pretty okay. I mean, no notable superstars I'd probably want to use. Nobody really caught my eye. Alright, we got the Chargers, man. They got Clay Palco. Looks like it's his second year in the league. Who else they got? Lacey Amy. I mean, once again, a pretty average team, bro. Nothing really stands out for them. Alright, the Chiefs, we got Sean Ambrose, wide receiver. They got a good quarterback as well, Nathan Trateau from Florida. I mean, bro, they got nobody catching my eye, though. No one. Man, that's such a shame, bro. I can already tell the Colts are going to get no love in the comment section. The Cowboys. Woohoohoo! Will Crosby is a 95 overall. Dude's 31 years old. He's got to be a superstar. He's only quick development. 80 strength. Let's check out his skills real quick. I mean, he's pretty solid player. 95 overall. Who else they got? I mean, their defense is fucking stacked, but their offense, they have nothing there. Their best offensive player is a tight end. Oh, yo. Yo. The Dolphins have Joey Lacey, bro. This guy is 6 foot 3, 228, though. And he's a superstar. 99 carry, 99 ball carry vision. Nah, you can't, you can't let me use Joey Lacey because we'll just be too good. 90 trucking and he's 6 foot 3, 2. Bro, that's going to be so hard to go past. Somebody better vote for Joey Lacey and the Dolphins. The Dolphins so far definitely have the best team. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. The Eagles have Rashawn Hill, 93 overall, 28 years old. He's another superstar with 99 carrying, 99 BC vision. Has pretty bad trucking, but against the point, 99 awareness, 91 route running. So dude can play as a receiving back as well. Man, Philly looking real nice too. The Falcons, Adonis Staley. Mmm. Yo, this guy's got a pretty dope quarterback. 24 years old, 87 overall. Superstar development. He's pretty solid all around. Do they have a good running back though? Okay, he's pretty shit. No, no, actually, he's really good. Michigan State running backs are, um, they're the best. Anybody from Michigan State is the best, so. The 49ers, Cedric Artmore. 93 overall strong safety. Roshan Pennington. Yo, we got, we got Penn's little bro. We got Penn's grandson playing for the Niners as well, just like his grandfather. Where's he from? Wis oh, yo, he's from Wisconsin as well. What are the chances of that happening? We actually have Addison Pennington's grandson playing on the Niners. The Giants, 95 overall middle linebacker, Karifi Ewing. I'm gonna check out this guy's stats real quick. Let's see what he got. Quick development, good pursuit, good play rec, Beast tackle, good air power. Man, I would love to play with Karifi. Very all around good balanced team for New York. The Jaguars, damn, fuck. Rashad Divins, 24. How is this guy 24 and 95 overall? These players just be popping out of nowhere though. 99 awareness, good wide receiver, good left guard. They got a very good, uh, they got a pretty good running back as well, Kevin Burney. 99 carrying, 94 BC vision. Hey, I can fuck with that. The Jets, like Craig, Le I mean, I mean, it is up to you guys, but uh, the Lions, Stefan Driver, 5'10, 223. Dude's got 99 carrying, 90. What's with all these running backs having 99 BC vision? Decent speed, pretty good stats overall, nothing too crazy. We got the Packers, Tank McGee from Wisconsin. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but Madden, Madden definitely has some favoritism for the Wisconsin defenders. Tank McGee, look at that. Cornerback, linebacker, strong safety, left end. Man, it would be a lot of fun playing with this Packers D. Six foot fucking four as well, bro. The Panthers, they, uh, 
Panthers, man, these guys kind of fell off. Six foot two, two fourteen, running back from Louisville. They got a pretty solid team overall. No one too crazy though that I like to look up. The Pats, they got Zachary McGloin, free safety, MLB left, and another MLB DT. Once again, another very solid defensive team. Another Wisconsin defender, bro. The Rams, 87, 86, 85. I mean, they're pretty solid all around. These guys have a definite dominant offense, but that's about it. No defense involved whatsoever. Good running back, good quarterback. So if we wanted an all around good offensive team, Rams might be the way to go. The Ravens, we got Thaddeus Iwo. I probably said that wrong. It doesn't matter. Braxton Lucas, Rich Batten. These guys look alright. 5'10, 220. I love my Bama running backs. 98 carrying. I mean, how are you gonna be a running back from Bama and only have 72 trucking? The Redskins, 93 overall, Felix Egbo. Once again, a pretty solid look at that linebacking quarter. You got Egbo. You got Jamal Lester. If you want to talk about a team that's very balanced overall, great team, you definitely got to go with the Redskins. Look, checking out the running back, five foot nine, two seventeen pound Bronson Hutchinson. Once again, rocking out with that dope carry. Good speed, good excel. He's definitely a speed back. We got the same. Pretty solid team on offense. Pretty much everybody is from the offense except for the two safeties back here. Nobody really catching my eye, they're pretty good receiver. I would have the running back, 5'11", 222. Other than that, man, they're pretty much dog shit. We got the Seahawks, and uh, yeah, they got a 39-year-old quarterback who's been in the league for 16 years. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to be using the Seahawks. We got the Steelers, Will Spires, 89 overall. Other than that, their team, they're pretty much in full rebuild mode. Wait a second. Where are the Raiders though? Okay. We got the Texans, 87 overall left end, leading the pack, wide receiver, MLB. Man, they are stacked, our wide receiver. Too bad they don't really have a good quarterback to back them up. But uh, they got young Fernando Gallon down here, 224, six foot tall. Man, Texans wouldn't be too bad if you wanted to go full rebuild mode. We got the Titans, man. Where, where are all the good teams at, bro? We started off, so hard, and now we just fallen off completely. We are just <sighs> Titans. Nah, we got the Vikings, man. Not one player in the top five is 30 years old, so that's a pretty good sign, even though these two are about to hit 30 years old. They got a good quarterback, decent receiver. I mean, once again, they're pretty like average team. From looking at all the teams, these guys look pretty average, but it's up to you guys. Check it out, the Bears, they got a solid quarterback from Louisville, Nicholas Fitzsimmons. Quick development, pretty decent stats. Right outside linebacker, what's this guy looking like though? Superstar development, 98 play rec though? We have the Bengals, Lachi Harwell, backed up by Rashawn Green Beckham. Ooh, Avery McBean, okay, that's pretty interesting. I haven't seen that last name before. Quick development, 99 carry, 91 speed, 88 excel. These guys would actually be a pretty fun team to play with. I'm not gonna lie. How good's their quarterback though? I mean, that's not that's not the worst possible situation. We have the Bills, 88 overall free safety. Once again, a pretty stacked defense, bro. Free safety, linebacker, linebacker, right end, linebacker, and safety. All right, we have the Black Knights. Okay, so obviously the Raiders have relocated to London and become the Black Knights. They have Damar Harley, Tevin Stringer. They have a good quarterback, Eric Lamontagny. And their quarterback situation is fucking lit. 91 overall, and then you've got an 83 overall down here. He's only four years pro, normal development. Man, they got fucking, they got running backs coming out of the ass. Yo, they got Bensley Jones Drew, but check out the face, bro. That is Addison Pennington's face on a running back. And he's a superstar. I'll be damned. Bensley Jones Drew, aka Young Pennington on the London Black Knights, is a damn superstar. We got the Broncos down here, cornerback, 89 overall, 88 overall tight end. Middle linebacker, pretty solid. So they got a pretty good defense, but they in full rebuild mode. I ain't really want to be messing with full rebuilds. We got the Browns, 91 overall quarterback. And other than that, they pretty much got offensive linemen and one linebacker. 
But once again, man, this is pretty solid team. Probably about an 8 and 8 team. Doesn't seem anything too special. We got the Buccaneers. Dylan Wagman is the leader of the team. They also got Kyle Chick tight end. Right tackle, strong safety cornerback. Pretty average team. They do have a very old quarterback, so I don't know, man. That, that wouldn't be too bad, I guess. To summarize the entire NFL, from what I've seen personally, I either like the Dolphins, probably I'm going to say the Packers, and I'm going to say the Redskins. That were probably my favorite three teams. But man, hey, all of the teams are all pretty good in their own context, so make sure down in the comment section, you leave who you want me to play with. And it's going to be very interesting. I can't wait to read all the comments, see what you guys come up with, see what team you want us to play with. That being said, that's going to wrap up episode one of our future franchise. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know that you are interested in continuing this series. Hope you all had a lovely day and I'll see you back next time. I'm out. Peace.